Hey, and what is going on, everybody? It is Zero here, back with some more PTR action for you. Guys, I need to talk to you about what's going to be, like, the new meta for Witch Doctor whenever this patch goes live. It is crazy. It is using the new Barber. It is out of control. So it's an LON build, too, guys. But let's just quick... We're going to go over this very quickly. I just want to get this out there. And keep in mind that this is, like, one of, like, many variants of this build. You're going to be able to go Fire Spec, Cold Spec, like pet variant like the uh, the the variants of this like it's probably endless it's unbelievable how versatile this one or i should say these just these few changes in itemization make it it's craziness uh so skills i'm using uh spirit barrage manitou um piranhas pranado um haunt poison spirits uh you can also use resentful spirits and i played around with both but I think the Poison Spirit's better. I don't know what footage you're going to see, if it's Resentful or Poison. Uh, Locust Swarm, Pestilence, Soul Harvest, Languish, Spirit Walk, whatever rune you want. Um, passives, I'm using Rush of Essence, Creeping Death, Gruesome Feast, and Pierce the Veil. Okay, item-wise, guys. Um, actually, let's first talk about the gems. We're using Bane of the Trapped, Zay's Stone of Vengeance, and Bane of the Stricken. Now, item-wise, again, this is an LON build, so you want everything to be ancient, if possible. Um, for your rings, guys, if you can get it, you're going to want area damage on there. Trifecta with area damage, crit hit chance, crit hit damage. Area damage would be probably BIS for both, if you can get it. Uh, you're going to want to be using the Frostburn. I know, right? Frostburn. You want to use Frostburns, because uh, this is a cold spec, after all. And if you can get him Trifecta, go for it. Pauldrons of the Skeleton King, probably going to be your best in slot uh, shoulders for this because it gives you a second life chance. The uh, Aquila Curious, uh, when you're above 94 to 95, or 90 to 95 percent uh, primary resource, your damage taken is cut in half, so that's a huge deal. Uh, Lukumba's Ornament, Cold again, uh, Invite, Crit Chance. Uh, also, you're going to be running Hellfire Amulet, and you're going to want to stick one of those other passives we talked about, or Spirit Vessel, on there. Um, pants, these are not the best pants. Uh, I would definitely go for Swampland Waders, because you can roll elemental damage on those, so you can get even more cold skills. Boots is kind of uh, up in the air as to what you want. Personal preference, you could go Ice Climbers, Illusory Boots... Uh, Iron Toe Mud Sputter is totally up to you what you want. I personally prefer the Illusory Boots. Uh, and then you want Gazing Demise, guys. And mine is not Ancient, but uh, try and get Area Damage on there, Int, Bite, uh, and Spirit Barrage if you can. Uh, and this thing's a big deal because Spirit Barrage gains the Phantasm Rune. Each act of Phantasm increases the damage of Spirit Barrage by 50%. You couple that with Vu's Juicer, uh, you're going to want area damage, damage percent, spear barrage uh, on there as well, guys. Uh, Vu's Juicer, spear barrage, gains the effect of phlebotomize and the spirit is willing rune. So all of a sudden, instead of having just one rune on spear barrage, we have four. Two off of uh, this dagger and one off of gazing demise plus whichever one you choose, which is going to be Manitou for the cold spec. So that's crazy. <laughs> You've like they may as well just given us all of them, right? Uh, also, we have the witching hour. You want a straight power belt for sure, okay? Uh, in terms of the cube, guys, we are running the barber. Have to run the barber on this build. The brand new amazing barber. Instead of dealing direct damage, your spirit barrage now accumulates on the target. When you stop channeling, it explodes, dealing 250% of its accumulated damage to all enemies within 15 yards. Holy crap. That's crazy. Uh, we're using Belt of Transcendence. Only using the belt. You could put other things in here for sure. This is kind of a personal preference thing. For me, I find that the fetishes definitely do a good job of keeping mobs off of you. And that, for me, is a big deal because you're trying to keep your distance from mobs with this build. You kind of get in, you make sure Haunt and Pestilence and everything is on them, and then you back off so that you get more damage with your Zay Stone of Vengeance. 
And then lastly, we're using Ring of Emptiness. You deal 300% increased damage to enemies affected by both your Haunt and Locust Swarm. So basically the deal is, you get in there, you make sure you have all your Soul Harvest stacks, you want to spam Haunt and Locust Swarm on everything, uh, bunch them up with Piranado, and just watch shit explode. It's absolutely crazy. So there's going to be a lot of variants to this build. I'm going to cover it more if I can. I'm going to try and get together a Fire Spec and maybe a pet variant of it too. Uh, it's really nuts. It's like I've already done 86 with it and there's someone al already that's done 95 with it solo. It's really, really, really nutty. And also I should mention that you might be better off going with a Leoric's Crown than the Grin Reaper, but I'm enjoying the Grin Reaper. I like having a, a reason to use it. And the mimics come out and they start casting spear barrage and shit too. Like it's very like things go crazy all over the screen with it. It's I like having a reason to use the Grin Reaper. I've had more success with the Grin Reaper so far, but my Leoric's crown is really, really bad. So that might have something to do with it. Uh, but anyway guys, get out there and check this build out. This is the the uh, spear barrage nuke. LON build. It's absolutely nuts. I think that Witch Doctors are finally going to be back near the top rung with this. It's They're definitely going to have a place in group meta with this build, for sure. And they might even be able to take the top spot in solo clears. It's really, really nutty how strong this build is, even with just mediocre stuff. And, like, most of this stuff doesn't even have augments on it either, so... Get out there and try it, guys. Get on the PTR. It's live now. Get out there. Check it out. Like, comment, subscribe. Later. Turning to down. <laughs> Thank you. 
I grow weak. You die. I grow weak.
the gem. I need to go back. 